if you want to assess your learners, formatively or summatively, with questions for which you have specified answers, Moodle's very powerful quiz enables you to do this. We can only look at a few of the features of the quiz in this screencast, but it's worth exploring more yourselves and in the Moodle documentation. Quiz allows you to add different types of questions, not just multiple choice. It also allows you, as here, to add media, video, sound files, images as part of your questions. If we go to our course and see how to add a quiz, the first thing that it's interesting to note is that in the administration block there is a link question bank. When a quiz is created in Moodle you create the questions separately and store them separately so they can be reused by you in a later quiz or by your colleague in the same course in a different quiz. To add our quiz we turn on the editing either by clicking the link in the administration block or by clicking the button top right and then in the section where we want the quiz we click add an activity or resource. This takes us to Moodle's activity chooser and if we scroll down to quiz, quiz is an activity because the learners are interacting with Moodle. If we click it once we get information as to how best to use the quiz and then we click the add button to bring up the setup screen or if we understand about quiz and don't want to read the information we simply click the radio button twice. The first thing that we will do is create the front page, if you like, of the quiz. The name and the description which the learners will see. If you want the description to appear on the course page, just tick the box Display Description on Course Page. There are many different settings in a quiz and it's worth exploring all of them. If there's anything that you're not sure of, the question mark help icon gives you extra information. For now, we're just going to click Save and Display. So we now have a blank quiz and what we need to do is to start adding some questions, which we can do by clicking the button Edit Quiz or in the administration block by clicking the link Edit Quiz. If we already had questions that we'd stored in the question bank or a colleague had made questions in the same course, we could see them in the question bank contents here. But we're starting from new, from nothing, and so we're going to add a question. We can click Add a question or Create a new question. We then presented with a list of questions to choose from. And just like with the activity chooser, if we click the radio button next to a question type, we present it on the right with some information as to what that question type does. Note also that although most of these questions are questions where you provide the answer, it is possible by choosing essay to have learners type in an essay which you would manually have to grade. For the purposes of our quiz, I'm just going to add a multiple choice question, which I'm adding here, and then I'm going to click Next to start creating the question. Note also that there is a description question. This isn't a question type as such, it's just the text editor into which you could add an explanation, some instructions, images, video or sound files. When we click Next, we are sent to the setup for this particular question. We have to give it a name, although the name doesn't appear in the quiz, but it's important because it's how we would recognize it in the question bank in future if we have a lot of questions ourselves and perhaps shared with our colleagues. In the question text, that is where we write the actual question, then as we scroll down, what we see will depend on the question type, but we'll always be able to add general feedback for any question. And then in the answers, because this is multiple choice, we add the first possible answer with a grade. None, we add none if the question is wrong and 100% if it's right. However, there are, as you see, options in between. 
we can give specific feedback for each individual answer. And if we want to do more than just write simple text, clicking the Show Editing Tools button will give us the full tiny MCE text editor. So again, we write in our second choice. We choose whether it's right or wrong, and we continue. When we click Save the Changes, we have our question on capitals in the question bank and we can move it with the arrow to add it to our quiz. Up until now, we haven't had anything in our quiz because remember, the questions are separate from the quiz. We can preview the question by clicking the magnifying glass next to it. So we then go on to create a new question which brings up the question list again and we select another type of question or the same type of question and so on until we're finished with our quiz.